The discovery of oil and subsequent production in the western region has raised citizens' expectation on economic growth in the area of job creation and poverty reduction. We are here to explore citizens' view on the social and environmental impact of the oil and gas find. So join me whilst I explore the western region. my people are suffering. The oil find has greatly affected fishing in this community. At first, we thought it was going to be a blessing, but now we are realizing that it has rather turned into a case. The fishermen are complaining bitterly that as a result of the oil activities, now they have a bad catch. And uh, this, fish, this problem has uh, brought about hardship in the community. Mesi afwa yeho na mnujuma yezi nyede yenku nunu na wakopu. Inti sa wakopu na wazi na mna ba. Na ye mesi afwa nunsu yako. Na yako yako jinamano. Calling ye, oh, ye are no, or bear no. What may a task a day? Young cool no, no, baby, a word to all ye are no. What say, say, I be see my hair no moon, say, he no, no, ye, ye, who most are wakan. What's mamma won't call and ben regno? Into all no, no, they can wahoo him, and see, and I'm no so or pecania, and see you who dare nominal fan will cook goo, regno. Uh, the fishermen complain about the fishing grounds uh, being taken over. Uh, we know internationally they are not uh, allowed to go close to the rig. But you know, fish is naturally attracted to light. So they, they think that uh, the, all the fishes are moving towards the rig and they must chase them. Fish, a fisherman will always chase the fish to wherever it is. But apart from that, uh, the, the oil rig is uh, instead of located close to where uh, the fishing grounds are. Ah, oh yeah, yellow, yellow bee. I'm myself friend is so old to wara. No one who die. Oh, feed them maybe as a coy and oh, yeah, baby, oh, yeah, no one. Young coho. A tell lawyer, you can't, yeah, yeah, and see the children. Tell lawyer, want to me one year. Some are from what the home, what coho. In recent times, there has been a lot of uh, accidents, uh, boat accidents involving fishermen, uh, boats, uh, destruction of uh, the fishing nets due to the high traffic, uh, supply vessels and uh, other equipment that are going to the rig, getting uh, uh, contact with the fishermen. To the extent that in, a, in one particular case, uh, a life was lost. Yeah, Sometimes uh, they complain of uh, uh, being uh, brutalized uh, when they attempt to go near the oil rig. See, see, I'm not going to be a dependent person. One crop, one year, I'm going to see, see, I'm not going to be a funny now, but too soon because them la talofo we be busy when they go here. What's your one year?
Baby, a there was a time we were so in na na one Sunday without notice. Yeah, we come here to answer some clear land. No, I yeah clear. They say I'm some as I'm talking to you now. They say I'm not going to say. You need to have a program of ya. Yeah, wo yeah wo. Because yeah yeah be a direct be se be huli be de be guan na han na be huli be guan han la banga wo shu be a la muti zini minu magare ba han la ni ba ye ke be ba ni ba be dua ye be de kaka ba mai ni ni de de la be te ba le. Yeah, down con ye ne de be a la more, ye two na yeah na yen ya e ye do near yum with kaka ze ye lack and debe. Bay an music be sub do a better bar and with tea. Ye lack and debe nasa be ba and ba be do a kake ye a taken deba. Of which it was very painful, most especially a lady who was very young and she got fainted when he got to the farm that uh, the farmland has been cleared without her consent. So where you are standing now has been acquired by the GMPC, yes. which has been taken over by the Ghana Girls Company. So at the moment, they have acquired 19 kilometers of land from the people of Bonya, Tekinta, Igbazo, and then Kabanswas. You have not been paid for the acquisition of the land. You have not negotiated the cost of the land yet. I think it was woefully inadequate, but all the same, you have to accept it somehow, because we are all waiting for a bigger thing to come later in the future. Nemomia <laughs> Na ya catch on there, assassin more on turn. What turner? In Timana, Wababan, one year baby in this do, and see your baby in po, yan dog, the Adrian's van. And I hope we shall be able to be a more into a ma, eh, pilfering, as in Kakakra, or Wawa, and I'm free day time, Biara, or Riawan. And I'm there, Domina, Wabba, Chrono, Pinity, if you shall Wabba, while upgrade in answering a standard of dressing. People from bigger cities, and I don't know what bad I'm not. Then we also copy from them the way they dress, the way they look. Then we also want to be like them. Into I don't know, or they more of their brain. And tell you also put up a structure for, for water over there. But the water is not from, from the first beginning, the first water was not functioning. And the assembly was supposed to use that water to, uh, to facilitate the, the, the toilet facility. So now, well, you go there, you use the empoano as usual. And it is very difficult uh, when, you, uh, when you go over there. The, when both senses meet, it's very difficult. But you, you make you manage to do it. The church. When a will die, it becomes a, a good omen to the, to the fisher folks. So we take it upon ourselves and celebrate the death of the of the will, with the with the idea that they're going to get a, 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 a bumper harvest. But with the onset of the oil, where it has been 
constantly happening. So we, it's now we thought it's a, a, a bad woman because of his sentence. We can't, we can't withstand, withstand, withstand them. I, when I was young, it was a part of it, a bone of it, something. But this time, the, it was a recent, recent, it was a whole body of it. The whole body of the wheel came ashore. And, uh, we can't control it. We couldn't sleep. The smell was so bad for us. The fishermen couldn't go to sea. It was a whole lot of it. Interestingly, one whale has been washed ashore in a community close to Atuabo. Behind me are some of the community members trying to bring the whale ashore for its burial. They are trying to do that with a rope and that is the only way they can bring it ashore because the whale is so big and heavy that it's not easy to bring it ashore. They will cut it into pieces and then bury it into a hole that they've dug to save them from the bad stench. in fact, in Crawford, more crew man, Obia and Kobe Bia. You know, the ahead of the Abuwa say, "Be true, true Abuwa no, I'm not bad at home." But still, no, you know, you know, and then the last day, if you say, "Be true, be true, true," the other you know, Abba offshore. As far as oil activities are concerned, we are greatly going to be affected. And for that matter, we are appealing to the authority to do something to help us. There, there has to be other alternative livelihood for the community. Uh, the local people, the, for local people, we will um, supply some lots of uh, worker in production. For example, for the um, for simple production worker, simple simple worker, the labor and the transportation and like this, and um, the, so the, um, technical and uh, skillful worker, and then will be um, come from China. They should get a training center for the. Uh, the youth in this is my land so that they also be involved in the job that is coming. I mean the gas company that is coming here so that we all benefit on that. I want the government to study more about it as at why this has been happening. So uh, and there should be lots to law so that it will protect our environment since our life depends on this sea. Actually we are not uh, going against the company itself uh, but uh, what you want the people to do they should have interaction with the community they should be socialized to the people of the country. Uh, our uh, oil and gas production in this country no, no, no. Uh, on the, on the, uh, on your pay. Say, if you are the man, um, on my bed, I work to oil. Now, so what you gas for one? No, man, no, Nisika, some, uh, you have a wash in a year. Say, if you're Scassemly, yeah, or man, or bayer, engineer, do, and now so, uh, Nisika, some bitch, they, yeah. Uncle South Refrain, I'm with you. It's very difficult for any country to get ready for oil when they've never had reason to get ready for oil. What we've seen is that uh, uh, coastal communities, fishing communities, are experiencing impacts. Also on the environmental side, there are capacities that don't exist. The 
the Environmental Protection Agency has very little capacity to monitor the environmental impacts of the oil industry. So we only have to strengthen the EPA and we have to make sure that we put pressure and demand accountability from EPA. I've always said that if the Jubilee Partners let us down, I won't blame them, I'll blame the EPA, who are the statutory, who is the statutory body empowered to protect our interests. So if they give them the permit because they are happy with what they've submitted to them, you can't, you can't go and blame the private sector people who are out to maximize profit and they will cut corners if nobody is policing them. But civil society will need to put the necessary pressure on these state institutions and the private sector to do what we feel is in the best interest of the, of the people of this country. So we have come across various social and environmental issues concerning the oil and gas industry, such as hills dying, fishing gears being destroyed by oil supply vessels, land grabs, land uh, speculations, rising cost of living. We are therefore calling on all stakeholders to come together and let's think around these issues and come up with practicable solutions so that the oil will be a blessing for all of us.